Well, there is a woman Hello. who has a How lot of information. You? I remember you on Whitey's yes. show, and that was very informative. Thank you. Thank you. Good job. Thanks. So, the season's over. The season's Hopefully over. Hopefully not too many people got hit by bicycles and, and fell off their bicycles. For the most part, everybody stayed safe. Thanks, so now so we're uh, now we're going into getting ready into uh, fire prevention week, first week of October. Oh, okay. And this year's theme is to keep your family safe. Biggest thing: carbon monoxide and smoke alarms. Okay, can't tell you people enough about the importance of these. The importance of making sure that they're maintained, changing their batteries. Um, twice a year, we encourage people to do that. Once a month, testing that they work. Um, and making sure, first and foremost, that they have them. Um, a lot of people don't know about carbon monoxide detectors yet. You need to have them in any home that has a fossil fuel burning appliance, whether it's a fireplace that just you have it for ambiance, whether it's a wood stove you use for heating, whether it's your gas stove, whether you have gas heat, oil heat, um, what else might have it? Any kind of gas appliances, right. everybody needs a carbon monoxide. On every livable level, and especially near the bedrooms, because you really want to catch it while people might be asleep. Now, for those people trying to figure out, like myself, why, I mean, you can't smell carbon monoxide. Carbon monoxide is odorless, colorless, and just extremely poisonous. What are the poisonous. symptoms of it? Uh, starts out with a little lightheadedness, a headache, um, feeling nauseous, extreme conditions. You wake up and you literally are overcome by, you don't know what it is, you can't move. I've had a, I had a family that uh, had their house repainted, forgot to put these back up. And what happened was the, the father woke up, was feeling so overcome and sort of passed out in the bathroom, called to his wife who she, she really couldn't get out of bed. They called 911. I mean, these were younger people, not people who were at risk for any sort of health condition. Um, so it's very, very scary. And you can die from it. You can die from it. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. And uh, everything else okay at the Everything firehouse? is great. Yeah. Um, you know, tomorrow's so our how night. How's our season anyway? I mean, would, would we say we were on par as far as. Uh, we were probably busier than normal. I think things. The island in itself was busier, so we were busier. ACDC. ACDC. How's it going? It's going very well. Did you do it all summer long? Oh, yes. It just yeah. it keeps going? It does. And yeah. do you find that you get more people in the fall? And I, We actually picked up two people that come in the summer. Okay. So that expanded the program slightly. And uh, we'll see what happens in the fall. We, lo we lost one of them already. Okay. He's gone back. And we have a lady that's with us that will be leaving us in October. All right. So, so for those people who are watching that don't know what it is, what is ACDC? It? It's a socialization program for older people. Uh, many of them have some form of dementia. They can be physically or mentally impaired. And uh, it's a safe place for them to be, to socialize with their peers and hopefully have some fun and smiles. It's a great, great operation. It is. And you do a great job. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. We're, we're starting to fill up, which is nice. Well, we have our independent apartments, which are, I have now got commitments on all of. The cottages are close to 60% full. Assisted living is still, you know, we, we have a lot of, a lot of space available. We do? Living. Yeah. And so for someone thinking about it, here's your, your chance to give them a, a little pitch on... Well, assisted living is for people who are not ready to go to a skilled nursing facility like our island home, but need some help, you know? There may be that they need some help with, uh, you know, showering in the morning, getting dressed in the morning. You, you certainly may have a cookie. Help yourself. The hard part is deciding which one you're going to have. There you go. Excellent. <laughs> Um, okay, so. but for so some kind of assistance and help, whether that could be because they have a certain level of dementia, or whether that's because they have something else that's physically just makes it difficult to do the daily, you know, things that they need to do to, to, to live, we provide help and assistance with that. But again, that's only part of what we do because we're, we're that as well as independent. So on the independent side, we have yeah. apartments and cottages, mm -hmm. and they can be anything from one bedroom up to on the cottage side we have be a three bedroom three bedroom now, do cottage. people buy these or do they rent them no this is all now rental 
It's all rental. It's all rental. It, it what used to be. You when it started, you you would pay an entrance fee, and then you would pay a reduced monthly rent as a result of that. Okay. But then there was a bankruptcy, and um, when when Sherman Commons first opened, it was a 501c3, so it was in a, a nonprofit. You know, again, if you think about it, it makes sense to some degree because on Nantucket, assisted living, a retirement community of any kind, assisted living, independent living, there'd never been a real community like that. Yes, there'd been uh, Academy Hill, and yes, there'd been um, Homestead. Homestead, you know, Landmark House, but not a true community like what was being offered yeah. to Sherman Commons. And with an aging population Ex like we have, exactly. many people retiring here. Exactly, and but so it's getting it people made to, sense in to, yeah. to understand what it was all about. Anyway, long and short of it is it, it couldn't sustain itself and it went bankrupt. So a company called Servant comes in and um, they purchased the assets. The land is still owned by the town. They purchased the assets, the buildings and everything. And then they brought in a management company called Riverwood Retirement Inc. And Riverwood is who I work for and who the staff works for. And we manage and run the facility. Riverwood has communities up and down the East Coast, mostly in Florida, but they have many other retirement communities. But it's a very, you know, once again, it's different in Nantucket. It's a unique environment and it's 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 helping people understand what's available helping people understand that you know that we're there and um, I mean when, it, when people come and see the place it, they, they say oh it's gorgeous it's wonderful and it, it is, is. That's, it is that's true